Once you've finished up the details of the eyes, you're probably going to want to look at adding some eyebrows, eyelashes, and you can even come in and work on some of these other details. But let's look at a couple ways to do this. One, when we started this project, we created three brushes, three tapered brushes, and those are going to be useful for hair. So let's go ahead and load those. Come over to your brushes palette over here on the right. Click on brushes. You're going to see a bunch of stuff we don't need. So we're going to select in the options panel and choose select all unused. Then we're going to hit the trash can and we're going to delete all the extra stuff. By default, this one doesn't leave. That's just a basic line and these are basic kind of brushes that don't ever go anywhere. Now we need to load in those three tapered brushes we made way back when. So we're going to hit this right here. Actually, nope, we got to go up in the options panel again. I almost forgot. Options panel, open brush library, and under user defined, that is where we saved our tapered art brushes. So I'm going to click on that. Open that up. And then they're not in our panel here. All we need to do is click one, two, and three, and close out. And that gives us our three tapered art brushes we created. Now, how can you use these? So this one that has the uh, Taper Art Brush 3, which is kind of like a um, uh, straight line that tapers out, that might be something good for an eyelash. So a couple ways you could do that. You can take a your pen tool and you can make a little bend. I'm going to command click off. I accidentally have a fill. So let's go swatches, get rid of the fill. I'm going to pick a, oops, I better select it first. Let's select it turn off the fill. I'm going to make my stroke a dark brown. We can't really see it right there. I'm going to go to brushes. I'm going to pick tapered art brush. Briefly I'm going to turn on the face that I just filled a color in just so you can kind of see. And right now my brush that I just made is too thick. So that's a stroke, right? A brush is a stroke. I can come in and drop that down to like 0.25 and you can see I kind of have an eyelash. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit. And right here, see how it's going into the eye? Let me zoom in just so you can see it. Right, it's folding into the eye. Remember what we can do? We can click on something, object arrange. So I'm going to right click on it, send it to back. And since it's on the eye layer, it goes behind the eye. And then if you hold option, you can make copies. You can spin the copy. Um, Sometimes what I do is I get a couple copies going like this. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit smaller. You can even make one maybe like 0.5 just to thicken it up. It's up to you. And then you can highlight all three. And you can even option drag, right, once you get something going. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to turn off the face here just so I can see. But right there, I can start to kind of build those. It'd be the same thing up here. Now, again, I can use the pen tool to draw it out. I can also take the brush tool. And then here, I might not want this one. I might want maybe this one, right? And I can take the brush tool like that. And you can see, here, I'll turn the face on again so you can see. And then I have something of that nature again. I could select it. And that might be probably too long for an eyebrow. So if we turn the face off, we probably want some kind of like shorter strokes, right? And you can just kind of come in, go in all the same direction, get some of these in, maybe mix it up with a few of the other brushes. And you're just kind of drawing, 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 right? Again, you get kind of good base going. You can highlight them all. And you just can kind of option drag. You might need to make it look like it blends a little bit. And this way I can quickly get in right, a general eyebrow. So if I turn that face on, not perfect. right? I would take time, fill in the gaps. I would come in and clean up some stray ones like this that kind of maybe go out of what I'm looking for, maybe have to spin a couple out of the way, but you get kind of the idea on how you can do that. In the next video, I'll show you a second way if your, your brushes aren't working. 
Um, actually, we'll leave it at that. If you want to check out a, um, another method, what you can do is I'll have a link up on hair from another instructor. And you can see they do it a different way that you might like better. One final thing I would think about is maybe a crease right here in your, you know, your eyelid has a crease. So let's see, if I turn off that face again, take my pin tool, and I get kind of that eyelash crease. And again, you may want to add color differences, but we'll get to that later. I'm going to select this line that I just drew, and I'm going to make it the tapered, right? Because it tapers. It's a little thicker on the curve, tapers out. Maybe that stroke's too thick. And then I'm going to switch my swatch color on that to black because that's where my line art is. And oops, 1.5. And maybe not black, maybe one of these dark skin tones like that. I'm going to turn the face on. And then maybe do an effect blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to preview it really quick just to kind of see. Gaussian blur makes the edges kind of fade, right? And maybe not 0.25, maybe not 0.5, so I can type in a number like 0.3. Uh, zoom out really quick, just kind of see it. So you might want to have experiment. I think mine's a little too long, so I would shrink it. The idea being that you kind of can, if you think it needs it, add something in to give yourself an eyelash, right? And we'll work on shadowing and shading a little bit later on. It's not looking perfect right now. I did it really fast. For you, I'd expect you to kind of clean it up a little bit better, okay?